Paula, I'm so excited you finally made it to me, Zaya. It's so good having you, and I want to hear about what you're working on. Well, I am working on taking my gorgeous vintage photographs from both sides of my family and turning them into ancestor wisdom healing cards. So I have these beautiful photographs. I was very blessed to be given them to me by both of my grandmothers. Yeah. So each card, each photo has a story. I've hand painted the background to enhance the photograph. Each card will have a message and a positive affirmation. Mm. And I put it on Kickstarter, so I'm waiting to see what happens. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> if you're in the Musea community, you've been seeing these and they're just absolutely so textured and beautiful. And I find myself zooming in and knowing that it's someone in your family, right? And that you're making art with it. What is the, I mean, it's, we kind of know, but tell us like, what is it that means healing for you? What is it healing for you? Is it healing for us? Like, tell us about how that works. Well, I was very close to both my grandmothers. I mean, there was a lot of trauma in my immediate family, and I went to my grandmothers who were always had their arms wide open, mm. offering unconditional love. And when I'd come home from college, I would stay with one and live with the other, and mm. they were always there. It was always a yes. Mm. You know, there was never any criticism or questioning of what I was doing. It was always yes. I love that. And uh, so this is my way of honoring my grandmothers. I have my great-grandmothers in there. Mm. And uh, telling the history of this multi-ethnic African-American family and some of the things they've been through and the things they've accomplished and how they've risen above everything to mm. offer love and security and hope. Mm. So. It must be such a feeling ancestrally to be making art with their images and their stories and then they could never imagine what we're doing right now right where we're telling the world about them and about the stories like that's such a big framework absolutely i uh it's, it's my way of honoring them they you're right they would never guess that i put <laughs> their images into artwork and what what are you pointing at <laughs> what am i supposed to be doing speaking <laughs> Edit, edit. Um, <laughs> You're good. The camera. So, oh, instead of it. Every now and then. Okay, okay, okay. Um, where was I? Honoring them. Honoring them, and I, I feel so blessed to have the photos. They're beautiful, they're unique. They're images from the late 1800s on through to the, I'd say, mid-1900s. And you'll see black women playing tennis in long skirts or on the beach in, in these long bathing suits. I have my grandmother, um, I have her 1913 diploma from a small black college mm -hmm. in Little Rock. And when she came to California, the only job she could get was as an upstairs maid in a Pasadena mansion. So I have a photo of her and her friends in front of the actual mansion because wow. they would allow her to have her friends over once a month for a garden party, and I have pictures of them celebrating there. Wow. So that's about shining where you're planted. So mm -hmm. each photo tells a story and gives an up, mm -hmm. uplifting message. And I'm just so grateful to have these beautiful photos and the memories and the stories I've heard mm -hmm. and to be able to share them. Mm -hmm. I've got hundreds of photos and I just don't want them sitting there. Right. I want them to get out into the world so mm -hmm. everyone can see them and benefit from them. And what a gift for all of us to be able to interact with your family in that way <laughs> in the story, which is the story of many families. So we get to see ourselves in it. And so you're, you decided to start a Kickstarter. Yeah. And um, what do you think, um, what happens for the people who invest? What are they investing in? Well, Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform, and you can go on kickstarter.com and see all kinds of projects. And what you do is you pledge a certain amount, any amount you want. If you type in Paula Dejoie or Ancestor Wisdom Healing Cards, you'll see a three-minute video where I go more into detail about the cards. Mm -hmm. And no money is taken from anyone's account unless I reach the goal amount, which is $7,500. So I think I'm up to maybe $2,300 or so. And the last day to pledge is June 21st. Okay. So I'm hoping to make that amount mm -hmm. by June 21st. If I don't, it's an all or nothing thing. And I'll 
figure out another way to fund these mm -hmm. cards. I know I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So with your help, it would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, because we imagine if we all invested in each other's art and we all purchase each other's paintings, like what, go, what goes around literally comes around when it comes to investing in women artists. So we can't wait to be a part of it. Thank you. Oh, we love having Thank you. you at Thank you, everybody. I think these cards have universal appeal. They're about family, they're about love and partnership, they're about overcoming challenges, and we can all relate to that. If you go to the Kickstarter and see the different rewards I offer, $50 gets you a set of cards plus the guidebook, $100 will get you two of those. In the upper ends of the award rewards, um, I've offered to take your family photos and create cards for you with your story. So that's going to be available as well. I would love to do that. So we'll all benefit. They each have positive affirmations that everyone can relate to. So even though it's about my family, it's also about your family and just human kindness, love, strength, overcoming. It's all a part of it. So I hope that you will visit the Kickstarter site and relate to what I'm offering and help support me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so for the higher level investment, someone could bring something like this. Beautiful. Yes. And what would you do? I would ask you a story. What's the story behind this photograph? Yeah, so this is a story. There's me at five oh. in my little handmade dress that my oh. Grammy made. This is right here in Sonoma Mountain. Um, this is my mom, Karen. This is Lenore Strauss, Sue, my cousin Bridget, my aunt. And I love that this is um, Janet Ballo. She's the publisher for uh, Sue's book. So I love that in our family picture, there's a woman publisher in it, right? So this is like the only record I have of mm -hmm. the lineage. This is three generations mm -hmm. of creative, beautiful women. Mm -hmm. So I would take this and I would collage the background. If you have words you wanted to add to it, I would put the words in there and make a beautiful mixed media piece that's just for you. I love that. Don't you think that sounds amazing? <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> hey, I would love to do that. Are you really giving it to me to yeah, do that? Yeah. I would love to do this. So now you have to I'll either write a story or I'll get it from one of your books. Okay.